good morning welcome into the channel i am deborah this is prush intuitive and we're going to be looking at the energy for today so let's get into it welcome welcome we just entered into virgo season so happy birthday to any virgos who are celebrating this month so exciting Virgo gives us a little more grounding and stability that, than what we've been seeing in these summer months. Well, I guess depending on where you're located. Fire energy can be pretty intense. You know, it just kind of stirs the pot. There's been a lot of tension in the astrology and um, a lot of retrogrades. <laughs> so retrogrades always bring things up that we don't want to deal with. As a side note, these messages are timeless. So whenever you happen upon them, as long as they resonate, definitely take what's meant for you. Use your discernment always because they are collective readings. And it's not my desire to trigger anyone here. Um, I do personal readings as well. If you want me to look into your specific situation, tarot, astrology, mediumship, energy healing, and wellness consultations. All that info is in the description box below if you're interested. Hit me up. All right, so like I said, so Virgo gives us more grounding and stability. Virgo does rule the sixth house, which is about our health, our wellness, the way we take care of ourselves. And the strength that we have in order to manage all the chaos. We live in very stressful times. You know, I just think it's the nature of the beast. Everything's very fast paced. And I've even heard it said that like our physiologies are having a hard time keeping up with it. So self-love, self-care is so important. It keeps us focused. It keeps us in alignment. It keeps us on track. And then it also really helps us navigate around those messier situations. It gives us more strength, um, you know, just a better feeling for ourselves. We show up better in those situations. We can manage ourselves better. And then it also allows us to make choices that we actually want to make, <laughs> you know, work with people, situations that make sense to who we are, what we're trying to grow and build. So definitely use this Virgo energy to take care of yourself a little bit more as the seasons start to shift and change and we move into a new space of reflection, harvest. The fall is all about harvest and abundance. We're seeing the fruits of our labor. This does not want to light today. Well, so I'll tell you this. <laughs> Sorry, this is a little long-winded, but of an intro, but um, we'll start with this energy cleansing, set the vibe, set the tone for the reading, help cleanse out any negative, low vibey energy, things we just don't want surrounding us, things that are blocking our ability to see, sense, and feel. This is also a really good time to set your own intention as well for the reading. If you have specific messages or questions you would like Spirit to answer, Definitely give those and be open to receive and we will get going. I bless you with pure love and light, pure source energy, pure love and grace. I release anything that is not for the highest and best. Fear, doubt, insecurity, lack of worth, lack of value, pain, frustration, impatience anger. Just remove it from our being. Help us to see things clearly, to understand the bigger picture, and help to make me a clear and open channel for the collective. Thank you, Father God, Spirit Guides, Guardian Angels, Mama Love, Mama Love. Okay. So the nice thing is, just as I was saying with Virgo, like we're seeing a lot more support in the astrology today. Places where it has been tense, it, there still is tension. There's still a lot of tension. But at the same time, it's stuff that we've been dealing with. It's stuff that we've kind of been there, done that. So we already know 
how it goes. It's just finding that strength that I was talking about earlier, finding that fortitude to move through those situations when we get triggered, when something pops up that we're not expecting. And that's definitely kind of how the energy is moving lately in terms of we can feel really good one minute, like we got all of our shit together, and then something can come in to completely challenge that, to question that. And we're really needing to rely on our intuition, our intuitive guidance messages that are coming through. This is crown chakra. So intuition is essentially the more subtle layers of consciousness. It is when we're able to be grounded and balanced and we can almost hear beneath, <laughs> you know, hear beneath what is being said into those finer layers. And the still small voice, those gut instincts, that's what our intuition is really connected to. And we want to pay attention because new opportunities are coming in. And I think that's also the importance around not getting too stuck in what's not working or these situations, these people that are lingering from the past. There is this... Um, it's not even a desire, but like a pull or maybe even like you feel forced, like you're having to deal with these things again. Like I said, been there, done that energy. So you're like, what? I mean, like, I don't want to deal with this. I don't need to deal with this. Um, it's that part of it is building foundation. It's building our strength. We've been getting a lot of the same energies of that need to trust what we're seeing, sensing, and feeling. It is our power right now. It's also what is going to help us get out of this to expand and grow. And if we're too stuck in focusing on what's not working or you know what that person said or did to me or blah, 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 we can miss some of these new things that are presenting themselves. And they're small right now. They're small. That's the, not the rub, but I feel like that's kind of where the challenge is. We got to be able to be grounded enough to actually understand when something's coming in and it's like, oh, that has potential. That has hope around it. Or I don't want to get too far into that. Right now, we're kind of blocking, and I think some of this is coming from the heaviness, we're blocking our dharma. So something has kind of shifted this week where, yeah, see, sense, and feel through something. I'm hearing that someone or something has kind of brought you down or brought you back into a cycle you don't want to be a part of or you feel like maybe you're heavily fixating on this thing. It's almost like, and we've been seeing this a lot, but it's like you took two steps forward and three steps, and not three, I'll say one. <laughs> I'll say one because it's not like you've completely negated <laughs> the issues per se, but there, there is some attachment that's still lingering between you and the past, the messier things, the emotional things, right? The things that we can't really make sense of. Maybe we don't have an answer right now. There's not a reason or you can't necessarily see why something moved in the way that it did. Remain balanced, you know, I and I feel like so, some of that not being able to understand is because you did put in the work, you did put in the effort, you did do what you were supposed to do. And it's still not working out or it's still like not leaving your energy. You've walked away from something and it still continues to linger. That's where that annoyance comes in. That's where that Mars square to um, Venus as well as to Saturn is really making things annoying, right? Because we feel like I've gone through this and and then now here it is again or you know, I won't keep saying that. <laughs> How about that? I feel like I've said that message like three or four times. Yeah, two of wands, very appropriate for that energy. It's the conflict. It's not able to find balance. So your 
<sighs> you're giving it too much power is what I'm hearing. Whether it's mental power, whether it's physical, emotional, you're giving it too much. And this is where health and wellness is so important because when we find tools to kind of release, let go of that energy, whether it's I feel like taking a walk is one of the greatest things. It kind of just like works it out. Anything physical works it out of your system. It expels it. You can meditate, right? You can do some journaling. Things that remind you um, that it doesn't have to be that way or that it's not always going to be that way. It recenters, right? Because emotions are high. There's a lot tensely aspecting the moon. The moon is in Aries. So right now we really want to see things work out for ourselves. We're very determined to make things happen. But, you know, there's a lot that is being stagnant. There's a lot that's being held back. Four of Wands energy. Someone or something wants to build something with you. And there is there it's causing resistance it's causing resistance around um your your movement your growth forward yeah there we go the devil of course the devil is infiltrating the emotions so i feel like again there is this energy of the old between the new we are a little more resistant to things coming to head. Black Moon Lilith and the Vertex Point are in conjunction. Black Moon Lilith wants to make us believe that it's not what it seems, right? She wants to make us believe that, you know, if you do it this way, if you do it a different way, this Nine of Pentacles, self-reliance, which is really important, but I feel like the overarching theme right now in the astrology is... We have to learn how to work in partnerships, but partnerships that are actually honoring us. Black Moon Lilith, Vertex Point, South Node are all in Libra. So our knee-jerk reaction is to fall back into default patternings or kind of have this F you attitude because of this, that, and the other. Not good, bad, right, or wrong. We just have to know its limits. If we stay in that energy, then we do disempower ourselves. Then we do shift, project the blame onto something that like we can't control. And the name of the game, sorry, shoot. The name of the game, let me actually just, sorry, I didn't realize I had my air on. <laughs> okay, um, so the name of the game is, again, finding people and situations that are going to work for you um, instead of trying to figure out why things are not working, right? Like we kind of just have to say like, okay, this isn't moving. If you want to put it on the back burner, if you want to sidestep for a little bit, that really is wisdom right now because we want to be focusing more on building that sense of strength and integrity. Oh, very interesting. So we have the emperor, empress. There's that partnership. There's that energy that I was talking about coming in with the nine of pentacles. Lots of abundance. I really love this. Seven of swords energy, however. Hmm. And this ties back to the devil. So, okay, I'm kind of tired of this message though. Can we find something else, spirit? <laughs> uh, okay, so someone does want something with you. That's what I'm seeing, right? They want partnership. They want connection, collaboration, but there is this sneaky energy of how they're going about it. And I feel like spirits asking, especially if you do have, um, if you do have like finances or a business or connections with a certain individual, that things have been messy, that there has been a lot of disconnect between you two. Spirits really asking you, to be protective of your energy, protective of yourself, protective of what's yours is what I'm hearing, whether that is in finances, whether, you know, you're going through a breakup and having to divide resources or however that looks for you. It's basically saying that the more you kind of protect yourself, the more that you 
And I'm even hearing like quietly move through this. Um, there ha because this is, I'm seeing two things, right? There is endings, right? There's endings of the past, ending of something that has been in your energy for a long time, and the starting of something very new and very powerful. You're getting emperor or empress energy with the nine of pentacles, which means that you're hitting this level of success and achievement and fulfillment, and it feels good, right? But whatever this seven of swords devil energy is, we got to feel it out. We got to know it. We got to understand it so that we do not let it infiltrate this beauty that we're building. And it's attached to this. That's the thing. Like whatever this past energy is for you, it is attached to how you're moving forward in the future. Whether you're letting the patterns, you know, stay in your mind, thinking, believing your lack of worth, lack of value, where whether you're giving someone power or, um, you know, being too uh, guarded, you know, with new situations because of the past. But spirit wants you to protect yourself, yes, but also remain open. Yeah, just lots of swords energy. There's a lot of mental energy around this. There's a lot of anxiety around this. I don't know if this is coming from you. No, I feel like this is coming from someone else, from someone who is trying to get something from you. They're very much in this five of cups energy, disappointed with how things worked out. But here's the thing. This situation, this person didn't handle it appropriately. It's not even like miscommunication or, oh, we got in a fight or it's not even like basic. It's like this person went out of their way to cause a lot of harm, to cause a lot of damage. And this is the result of what their choices were. Karma, point blank karma. You know, we, we all face it. <laughs> what, you, what you sow is what you reap, unfortunately, or not. You know, I mean, actually, that is one of the things that we have power and control over, right? Is being able to um, control how we show up, how we handle people, places, and things. Even if it does mean that we have to humble ourselves, being in that divine feminine energy is what I'm hearing. Also, I'm hearing like you can be mindful of who and what you're talking to, what you're saying, because you could have a woman or a group of people that are kind of like getting information and going back to this person or gossiping about you or just be really, really mindful. You know, the nice thing about our intuition is it's heightened right now. So we're going to be easy. We're, we're going to be able to easily pick up when people or situations don't feel right. And that's why it's all about sensing through feeling the energy. It can look great on paper, but when you actually are involved with it, how much of that is true? Yeah, there is <laughs> disease. <laughs> well, I'm hearing this. I do love the plague doctor. He's one of my favorites. Um, he, you know, something has been infected, infested. So again, this message of being really conscious, being really mindful of who, what you say things to, how you show up. It's already a mess, right? The infestation is already there. It's not yours to control or to clean out. It's not. And someone, something wants to make you feel like it is. And there still is a lot of pain. That's that emotion, the moon in Pisces that we had a couple days ago. Well, I mean, it's just the, uh, our emotions have been heavily aspected lately, but those are our signs. Those are our indicators. Emotions, we give them a bad rap, the negative ones, but it's actually the indicator of like what is not right for us, what is not for our highest and best. Yeah, there's that woman again. So really 
the the divine feminine energy is all about our intuition it is about surrender it's about support and love to ourself and actually believing in ourself but doing so in a non-aggressive way and that's really the theme of this reading today is just like finding balance even though there is still some stuff lingering from the past you still have stuff that you're dealing with etc it doesn't mean that you have to fully emerge yourself or become a part of that energy again especially because it is very toxic it's very toxic it's very low vibey it's not going to serve you in the long run it's actually going to make your life way harder and that's this dance right now that's kind of more of the trickery tricky energies that are lingering is trying to call us back into the low vibey the negative behavior um your instincts are on point trust those today trust what you see sense and feel and try not to let things get the best of you <laughs> even when people are being really shitty someone might be kind of shitty today i'm not gonna lie with that devil seven of swords energy um and and it is going to challenge you it's going to challenge um you know your ability to handle it with integrity with wisdom and grace but you're gonna see yourself in a whole new light. I feel like when you do, you're gonna see yourself like, yeah, I got this, I got the power. <laughs> All right, thank you so much for your time and energy always. I hope that this message helped. I hope you found messages that resonated here. Definitely drop comments below if you did. I love to hear or just connect, give and share a little love and support. Thank you, I hope you have a fabulous day. All the love and blessings your way.